हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस सेंसिबल्स ऑप्शन लर्निंग सीरीज वेयर वी आर लर्निंग ऑप्शंस इन डेप्थ आफ्टर वाचिंग दिस सीरीज यू विल बी एबल टू सी ऑप्शंस लाइक प्रोफेशनल सी इट सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर जर्नी ऑफ एक्सप्लोरिंग ऑप्शंस दिस वीडियो इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द डिस्कशन व्हाट फैक्टर्स इफेक्ट ऑप्शन प्राइजेस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो we talked about the effect of stock price and strike price on the option prices we also looked at how the option prices change with the change in stock and strike price in this video we'll see the concept of intrinsic value and time value If you take the price of an option it has two parts intrinsic value and time value the total price of an option is the sum of intrinsic value and time value intrinsic value is the value of option if the underlying stocks ends at the current price on expiry so let's understand with an example sbi is trading at 500 rupees look at these strikes and their option prices number 1 500 strike call option this option gives you the right to buy sbi at 500 the strike is 500 the call option price is 20 rupees here the intrinsic value is zero why because if sbi expires where it is now at the current market price that is 500 you will not exercise your right to buy sbi at 500 because you can buy from the market at the same rate this makes this option contract worth nothing if sbi was to end at the current price of 500 on expiry that's why the intrinsic value is zero here the time value is 20 rupees all the possibilities of making money in this option lies on the hope that sbi might go up in future that's why the entire value of the option is time value number 2 480 strike call option this option gives you the right to buy sbi at 480 rupees strike is 480 call option price is 30 rupees here the intrinsic value is 20 rupees why because if sbi expires where it is now at 500 you will exercise your right to buy at 480 so you will buy sbi at 480 and you will sell it in the market for 500 you'll make 20 rupees straight this makes this option worth at least 20 rupees therefore the intrinsic value is 20 rupees here the time value is 10 rupees there are some more days left for expiry so there is a hope that sbi might go up in future 10 rupees is for that possibility number 3 460 strike call option this gives you the right to buy sbi at 460 rupees the strike is 460 call option price is 45 rupees can you take a guess what is the intrinsic value here exactly 40 rupees because if sbi expires where it is now that is at 500 you will exercise your right to buy sbi at 460 and you will make 40 rupees straight this makes this option worth 40 rupees at least if sbi ends at 500 on expiry here the time value is 5 rupees because there are some days left in the expiry so there is a hope that sbi might go up in future 5 rupees is for that possibility now let's see some other strike options also strike 520 call option price is 10 rupees intrinsic value is 0 time value is 10 rupees strike 540 call option price is 5 rupees intrinsic value is 0 time value is 5 rupees the above strikes have zero intrinsic value because if sbi expires where it is right now that is at 500 you will not exercise your right to buy sbi at 520 or 540 so these options will expire worthlessly 
that's why they only have the time value or the hope value that SBI will go up in future before expiry. Let us list all the time values and intrinsic value together now. By seeing this table, we can note the following points. For strikes 500, 520 and 540, the entire value is time value. There is no intrinsic value in these options. Number two, intrinsic value is higher for lower call strikes. Number three, the time value is maximum for the strike which is near the stock price. Let's do the similar exercise for put options. SBI is again trading at 500 rupees. Now look at these strikes and their option prices. Number one, 500 strike put option. This gives you the right to sell SBI at 500 rupees. Strike is 500. The put option price is 20 rupees here. The intrinsic value here is zero. Why? Because if SBI expires where it is now, that is at 500, you will not exercise your right to sell SBI at 500. This is because you can sell in the market at the same price. This makes this option contract worth nothing if SBI was to end at the current price of 500 on expiry. That's why the intrinsic value is zero. Here the time value is 20 rupees. All the possibilities of making money in this option lies in the hope that SBI might go down in future. That's why the entire value of the option is time value. Number two, 520 strike put option. This gives you the right to sell SBI at 520 rupees. The strike is 520, put option price is 30 rupees. The intrinsic value here is 20 rupees. Why? Because if SBI expires where it is right now, that is at 500 rupees, you will exercise your right to sell SBI at 520. You can buy SBI from the market at 500 and you can sell SBI at 520 to the option seller. You will make 20 rupees straight. This makes this option worth at least 20 rupees if SBI was to end at the current price of 500 rupees on expiry. That's why the intrinsic value is 20 rupees. Here the time value is 10 rupees. There are some days left to expiry. So there is a hope that SBI might go down in future. 10 rupees is for that possibility. Number three, 540 strike put option. This gives you the right to sell SBI at 540 rupees. Strike is 540, put option price is 45 rupees. Can you guess what is the intrinsic value here? Exactly, 40 rupees. Because if SBI expires where it is right now, that is at 500, you will exercise your right to sell SBI at 540. You will make 40 rupees here. This makes this option worth at least 40 rupees if SBI was to end at the current price of 500 on expiry. The time value here is 5 rupees because there are some days left to expiry. So there is a hope that SBI might go down in future. 5 rupees is for that possibility. Now let's see some other strikes. Strike 480, put option price 10 rupees, intrinsic value 0, time value 10 rupees. Strike 460, put option price 5 rupees, intrinsic value 0, time value is 5 rupees. The above strikes have 0 intrinsic value because if SBI expires where it is right now, these options will expire worthless because you will not exercise your right to sell SBI at 480 or 460. That's why they only have the time value or the hope value that SBI might go down in future and they'll make money. Let us list all the time values and intrinsic values together now. By seeing the above table, we can note the following points. Number one. For strike 500, 480 and 460, the entire value is time value. There is no intrinsic value here. 
Number two, intrinsic value is highest for the higher put strikes. Number three, the time value is maximum for the strike which is near the stock price. This is the case for both calls and put. Let's summarize what we have learned about intrinsic value and time value till now. Number one, intrinsic value. The value of the option if the stock expires at the current price. In other words, we can write a formula for intrinsic value of call and put options. Intrinsic value of a call option is equals to stock price minus strike price. If the value comes greater than zero, then the option has intrinsic value. If the value comes zero or negative, then the option, the call option has no intrinsic value. Intrinsic value of put option is equals to strike price minus stock price. Again, if the value comes greater than zero, then the option has the intrinsic value. And if the value is less than or equal to zero, then the option has no intrinsic value. Number two, time value. This is the value of hope that the option might make money in the future. Or we can say time value is equals to option price minus intrinsic value. That's how we can say option value is the summation of intrinsic value and time value. Note that the intrinsic value and the time value can never be negative. Now is a good time to introduce you to some jargons that can help us in future. Number one, options that have intrinsic value are called in the money options or ITM. For call option, they are the strikes lower than the current stock price. For example, if SBI is trading at 500, the 480, 460, 440 and so on are the ITM options. This is because they are worth something if SBI expires at current price of 500. They are already making money or in the money. For put, the strike that is higher the current stock price are ITMs. For example, if SBI is trading at 500, the 520, 540, 560 and so on are ITMs. Number two. Option that have only time value are called out of the money options. These options have no intrinsic value for call option. These are the strikes higher than the stock price. For example, if SBI is trading at 500, the 520, 540, 560 are OTM options. They are worth nothing if SBI expires at 500. Therefore, they are out of the money. For put options, these are strikes lower than the current stock price. For example, if SBI is trading at 500, the 480, 460 or 440 are the OTM options. They are worth nothing if SBI expires at 500. Lastly, number three, the strike price that is near or equal to the stock price is called at the money option. That is ATM. For example, if SBI is trading at 500, the 500 strike price is ATM for both call and put. The ITM, OTM and ATMs are also referred as the moneyness of the option. Now, since we have understood the intrinsic value, the time value, what are ITMs, ATMs and OTMs, Let's look at some basic observations from the discussion what we had in this episode and we'll try to relate it with the option chain on Sensible's platform. Number one, the more the option is ITM, the more its intrinsic value. Number two, higher the intrinsic value, the higher the option price and the greater are its chances to make money. Number three, the more the option is OTM, the cheaper it will be. The deep OTMs are like lotteries and we know that lotteries are cheap. 
नंबर फोर एटीएम ऑप्शन हैव द हाइएस्ट टाइम वैल्यू यू कैन को रिलेट ऑल दीज पॉइंट विथ द ऑप्शन चेन ऑन सेंसिबल्स प्लेटफॉर्म द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन दैट्स इट फॉर दिस एपिसोड इन द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड वील सी हाउ टाइम इफेक्ट द ऑप्शन प्राइजेस till then take care and i wish you safe and happy trading with sensible bye bye